Okay guys, Matt here with Built Right Industries. Today I'm going to show you the installation of our um, dash mount for the 2015 and newer F-150, F-250, F-350, and of course Raptor. Um, the tools you're going to want are a small um, ratchet with a 7mm socket. I like a short extension um, and you'll, you'll see why in a bit. A Phillips screwdriver. Uh, trim tool. This is optional. Um, you know, you can make do with a lot of different stuff, but it, it does help. Uh, 3 8 inch wrench of some sort. Um, a, a deep well socket would work just fine as well. And then I like to use some masking tape. This is another optional thing. You'll see where we use this in a bit, but um, if you're a little bit OCD, uh, it's a nice to have. So, all right, so we've got our box here. It'll come labeled. Dash mount, F-150 Raptor 2015. It also does work for the Super Duties as mentioned now we'll open the box up see what we got in there the first thing you'll notice is a built right sticker uh, you'll want to install this on the back window of your truck um, hardware kit it's going to have four uh, black oxide machine screws four locking um, nuts and four washers some packing bubbles most importantly the bracket um, the first thing you're going to notice is that it's kind of thick and beefy and it feels a little bit overbuilt and it probably is. So that's why it's going to feel that way. It's got a nice black texture powder coat that's going to match really nicely. Uh, thank you card with some contact info and such. And then an install guide. Now you're watching this video, so you're going to have a pretty good idea of what's involved. But the nice thing about the install guide, if I can do this with one hand is that the install guide whoop, comes with a drilling template. Now I'm gonna install this now without the use of a drill template, um, but kind of for a peace of mind, you can double check it. Otherwise, um, you know, you can use the drill template. So you got options, uh, you'll see what I mean in a bit. That's it, let's get started. Okay, so really quickly, the general uh, installation procedure is we're gonna remove this um, this tray, first we'll remove the speaker cover up there if you happen to have a speaker in the center. We'll remove the tray, we'll install the um, dash mount onto the tray, and then we'll reinstall the whole situation. So it's pretty straightforward. That's what we're looking at here. Um, you can see I've already removed the rubber mat that will be in this tray, uh, but you can go ahead and do that as a decent first step. You don't necessarily have to, but it's nice to keep it from moving around. Um, the next thing we're gonna do is remove the center speaker holder. Now the speaker cover here, is um, held down by four sort of spring-loaded clips. Um, so before I pry on that at all, I'm gonna put some masking tape along the edges of the dash here. Now, I wouldn't normally do that if it was smooth like this, but it's got kind of a texture, and I know from past experience that that texture gets kind of marred up easily, and if you're a person that is bothered by that sort of thing, I recommend the tape step. So let's do that now. Okay, now, so this cover here, depending on your truck, will look a little bit different, but in general, it's held down by um, two clips here and two clips in the back. The clips are oriented front to back, so um, when you're pulling on it at all, tugging it front to back helps. Um, I actually have those clips loosened already right now so that I can kind of demonstrate, but if you can get this kind of a movement going, that'll help. Um, and then the trim tool goes a long way as far as being able to pry on it like this. So once you can kind of get one of them to pop up, you'll be able to work around the edge and get the whole thing off. And what it's gonna look like at the end of the day is something like this. Now I've already removed, like I mentioned, I already removed a couple of clips, but these are gonna have little white clips on them. Um, I was not gentle enough the first time I did it. And I pulled one of them right kind of in half like that. Um, haven't had any issue. It still stays in just fine. Doesn't rattle. So not too worried about that, but um, Get this cover off. Make sure you find those four white clips if any of them popped off and set that aside Okay, the next step is to remove the two seven millimeter screws. There will be one here and one here um, This is very simple. Just watch out for your windshield with your socket or your ratchet um, The other thing to notice is that these bolts aren't straight up and down So they're pitched kind of back towards the driver. So if you feel like you're slipping off the head of the bolt it's because you're probably trying to do something like this and it's really more like this so let's get these removed so now the next step in uh 
removal of this tray is to tackle the edge right here, the front edge of the tray. Make sure we're still in focus there. It looks like we are. Now we'll use our same trim removal tool. I had put the two screws in here. Um, better idea to just take them all the way out. That way when the tray pops up, they don't go flying. So um, now I've got my tape here to protect the edge. What you can do is kind of pinch and pull up here. And this will be, you can even get it all the way off like this if you don't have the trim tool. Um, but so we'll get under here and you can hear one, two, and let's find that third. Three, just like that. So you can see those three pins right there, or the clips. Um, that's what you're fighting against. But once they release, they'll kind of pop off just like that. And then we'll go ahead and make sure if you have the center speaker that you unclip the harness and we can take this in and uh, get our mount mounted up. Okay, the next step in the installation is to drill our holes in the dash mount here. Um, you see I have a piece of foam down here that'll help when we flip it over that we're not scuffing up the trim. Um, the other tip that I have is that um, because the speaker is sort of not symmetrical here, this will sit on your table and wobble around. So set it in something, a box, you know, that's the right size or something. That way you're pushing on something that's sturdy. Um, then you can kind of set this in here and see how it fits. You see you have some wiggle room here. Um, as you're determining exactly where you want it, you may put something in here as kind of a spacer. Um, I'm going to kind of eyeball it. And if your bracket happens to move around a little bit, you can kind of tweak it just a touch. So like there, we're sitting flat. Now what I'm going to do is get it centered and spaced out the way I think I want it. And then I'm going to use this that I found in my toolbox. Anything that sort of will scuff plastic will work. And I'm going to mark the center of the first hole and the center of the second hole. I'm going to remove the bracket and now I'm going to punch using a small drill bit. I think this is maybe eighth of an inch, um, a hole in each of these before I open it up to our quarter inch size. Now, two notes before I go any further. Um, one is that we're drilling these to a quarter inch and you can even go a little bit bigger since we have washers. So that as this is in here, you do have a little bit of wiggle room um, when you're bolting it down. The second thing is make sure this tray is room temperature before you start drilling. If you're in a cold climate like we are here in Minnesota and you start drilling this one, it's cold and they're frozen. Um, instead of punching a nice hole with nice chips like this, yeah, you're gonna start cracking and chipping off of here and that's gonna be uh, unpleasant and make the job more difficult. So make sure that this is warm. Um, now I'll go ahead and open up these two holes a little bit more and open these up. All right, so that went really well. I'm gonna dump out those chips. And then we'll kind of do a sanity check here. Looks about right. So now I'm gonna put some hardware through these holes and loosely bolt it in here. And then I'm going to reach through here and mark these other two holes and get those drilled. So I'm gonna drop one of these screws in. Get them in there. That's just gonna kind of keep it from slipping around. And then, just like I said, I'm gonna hold this about in the same location. Side to side and make sure this is level, although like I said, you have some wiggle room. And then I'm gonna reach in here and mark that hole. Doesn't take much with something like this to scuff this texture here just enough to mark your drill location. And then I'm gonna swap back to the smaller bit
I'm gonna stick that out there like I try and avoid interference here with the drill. start with one of the fasteners that's towards the driver and we'll set that into place the reason for that is it's kind of hard to reach under here sometimes I'm gonna flip it over put a washer and get a nut just started and then I'm gonna reach under here while I can still lift this up and Push the second one down through here. This way, if you have hands that don't fit through there, it's not a lot of uh, trying to reach around with a fastener between your fingertips. We'll get that second nut started, and then we'll repeat that with these two before we go and tighten them down. Okay, so now I've got this in there attached loosely. We still have some wiggle room here, so we'll start cinching these down making sure that this stays straight, uh, if that's your preference, and then we'll tighten them up. All right, so now our dash mount's on there really solidly. These are all tight. Um, we're pretty straight there. If it's a little bit off, this is a little bit off, so I might straighten it out before I put it in the truck. Um, but we're in good shape here. Uh, and we can go and reinstall this. Okay, so uh, now would be the time to make any attachments that you need to to this. Um, it's just easier to do when you can get around the outside and stuff as opposed to once it's in the truck. So I know, for example, that I used to I like to use this Ram one inch ball. Uh, this is an amps hole pattern. It's going to fit really nicely right there, and that's what's going to hold my cell phone. So I'm going to bolt this in, and then we'll go and install it in the truck. While I've got it out, I'm also going to install this ball mount. This is the same thing as the RAM mount, except that it's just mounted by a single point. Um, now a cell phone where it's going to have an arm, it's going to be swinging around. It's really nice to have this not trying to, uh, or not able to rotate. This can rotate. It's not as good, but I happen to have it. And I know that I use this to mount my dash cam. And the dash cam is just on a short arm. It's not trying to pull itself off. So uh, I'm, until I get another one of these mounts, I'm going to install this here temporarily. Um, we'll get that cinched up when I figure out exactly where I want it. Uh, let's go put this in the truck. All right, so we're back in the truck. I'm going to peel off my masking tape here because I don't need that anymore. And the big thing is you don't want to forget to plug in your center speaker. So I'm going to grab the tray. I'm going to plug in the center speaker. I'm also going to plug in my wiring harness here for the um, GPS unit that I use. So I've got the tray here. Plug in the speaker. I'm sorry if I'm blocking your view. I'm sure I am. Plug in the speaker. I'm going to try and kind of set this down precariously. Plug in the wiring harness for my GPS. Tuck that down so it's not going to rattle. Because a rattle coming from the center of your dash is just about the worst thing I can imagine. Okay, so we're set back in place. We got our speaker, our mounts, all that good stuff. Um, we have three push in clips here. So this is going to pop right in when I push down. We'll replace the two bolts, uh, screw bolts in here, and then we'll put our speaker cover on and we'll be all set. And our installation is done. Now, in my case, like I said, I'm going to attach my cell phone here and this will show you how easy these Ram mount works. Um, this is the arm. I'm going to loosen it up, tighten it down, and if I want it here, which I don't, I can leave it like that. 
I'll do something like that. I'll end up playing with it. But, and you can see that's immediately very sturdy. So um, the only limitation to the strength of this bracket really is going to be the strength of the plastic tray. So uh, keep that in mind if you're using these one and a half inch balls or even bigger is just that um, the bracket's plenty sturdy, but you are, you are bolting to a plastic tray. So uh, that's the installation. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to uh, shoot us an email, give us a call, uh, find us on social media. Uh, it's a pretty easy installation. I would expect that working at a slow pace or a comfortable pace, it takes you, you know, maybe half hour, 45 minutes, maybe an hour. Um, no need to rush. Uh, just enjoy it. And uh, yeah, thank you for your business. Thank you for watching. <laughs>